Hey, what's going on YouTube? Jesse with another reaction video. Another comedy video. This time, Joe Rogan. This is an old Joe Rogan clip. Um, this, this video being posted on YouTube is from 2011. Uh, it's from one of his early stand-up live uh, specials. Um, but this, So this particular one is Noah's Ark. I know I've heard this probably a million times. I, but at the same time, it's also old, so I haven't listened to it recently. So let's dive into it and have some laughs. I was at home the other day, high as giraffe pussy, watching the History Channel. <laughs> high as giraffe pussy. It's pretty high. <laughs> <coughs> And they had this documentary on in search of Noah's Ark. And I went, oh, how about you go look? <laughs> Again, depending on the type of comedy you like, this is, might not, you might get offended by this. And if you're easily offended, please don't dislike this video. Just, just click away. Um, I do love when Joe Rogan does this type of joke. Um, I don't want to use the, the particular word that is easily describing it, um, because people get offended by that. Um, so a better way of saying it, he, he, so he basically, he's acting like he's a person with special needs. Don't come at me for that, please. Um, it, it's hilarious when he does it. It makes his jokes, some of his jokes even better because he's going on. And he doesn't make, he doesn't make them sound dumb or anything like they're actually very smart, so let's back that up. <coughs> I'm trying not to pause this too much. And they had this documentary on in search of Noah's Ark. And I went, oh, how about you go looking for the fucking Snuffleupagus while you're at it? <laughs> I heard that dude's a missing. You really gonna go? Okay, the person I was upload that uploaded this couldn't turn their Xbox notifications off. Yeah? Hey, on the way back, will you go to Whoville and get me some green eggs and ham? You fucking gullible prick! Whoa. Don't get me wrong. If you're religious, I'm not saying there's no uh, God. Again. I'm saying people are full of shit and that story sucks. Hello? Why do we have to believe it just because it's been around a long time and it makes no fucking sense? You tell the story of Noah and the Ark to an eight-year-old retarded boy. He's going to have some questions. Everybody has questions about it now. It's one of those stories that... When you truly try to think about it and how it all worked out, and it just doesn't make sense. But it's very believable when it was probably written. It's just a bad story. Even if you're really good at telling stories, you sit him down, well, Bobby, once upon a time, God was mad at all the people in the world. And instead of telling them what they were doing wrong and offering guidance, he decided to go ahead and drown everyone. And he only told one man, a random man named Noah, just picked him out of a crowd. He wasn't a special man. In fact, Noah was 600 years old and a drunk. Anyway, God told Noah to build a boat and he and his family would be the only people to survive the flood because apparently all the other people with boats, their shit didn't work. Exactly, all the other boats just didn't work. Man. <laughs> Noah magically got two of each animal to come to him on foot from all over the world. And they willingly boarded Just two. the boat and got into cages. How'd they decide which two? And they sailed away for 40 days and 40 nights and civilization began anew. Eight-year-old retarded. And before even Rogan gets to this next part, see, so we got two of every animal. 
I didn't. I don't recall. It's all the animals got on got on the boat. What about a female? You know, Noah being the male. Did another did another human come on board as well? Questions that we never asked. Hey boys, gotta go. Oh, oh, there's a lot of holes in that story. Mm-hmm. Let me sit down for a moment. <laughs> First of all, how big is this fucking boat? It's a big boat. Didn't you tell me there are millions of animals? One guy built this boat. How long did it take him? Where did he get all of the wood? 600 years he must... Now, if you watched... Uh, what was it? The... the it wasn't Bruce Almighty. It was the the second one. Uh, Evan Almighty? I believe that was what the second one was. Which was basically Noah's Ark. Where the... The wood just magically appears on the property, and he, that's what he has used to build it. And just magically appeared. A little old folk fella to be taken. One guy built this boat. How long did it take him? Where did he get all of the wood? Six hundred years seem a little old folk fella to be taking on a project of this magnitude. Yeah. The animals come on foot. Isn't the earth 24,000 miles long and three quarters covered with the water? Wait a minute. What did the animals eat when they were on the boat for 40 days? Since animals like to eat other animals. I'm not that retarded. <laughs> You motherfucker! Four people come from Noah, and Noah's a white guy. Where do all the black people come from? I'm all in favor of believing that there's a purpose to life, but I just wanted to make a little sense. That's all. <laughs> uh, Rogan. He's an unbelievable commentator. Comedian, uh, mixed martial artist. He's he's a podcaster. He's a jack of all trades. So he's unbelievable. Um, and now, and if you didn't already know, he's moving his podcast from YouTube to Spotify with one of the biggest deals ever. Uh, but yeah, that was Joe Rogan live Noah's Ark from one of his early standups. Let me know what you thought of it. You know, did it? Where, is, where do you rank Joe Rogan as, as far as your comedians go? Not all time, but like, is he somebody that you actually look to watch some of his comedy? Or you just, when you hear of Joe Rogan, you just think of fight commentator or podcast. You don't think of a comedian. Um, but yeah, let me know what you thought of this. See ya. Hey, what a sick video that was. Jesse Official Sketch, the best channel on YouTube. Make sure you guys leave a like, leave a comment, and yeah.